Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Kobe Bryant post hop shot is by far and away the most popular post hop in the game. It's easy to create space against good defenders with the blinders, especially this year. But there is another post hop shot, the Austin Rivers, that actually creates more space than the Kobe. Now, is it a little bit worse? Is it a little bit better? It really depends on how you play. If you're somebody that likes to use your post top to create space to catch a defender off guard, this is actually better than the Kobe. But if you're somebody that's just trying to hit those tough blinder shots, you like to post top left or post top right, then the Kobe is better. This one is definitely for post hop shotting back toward the mid range. It's going to give you a longer post hop shot, but that's not a problem in NBA 2K24. It's not like those deep post hops are actually very hard to hit as long as you got your timing down. And you're going to see that in today's video. Another thing too, that Kobe Bryant post hop shot is really good for bigs. But if you're on more of a lock, more of on a wing, I'm playing on my six foot eight in this video, they'll be able to contest those a little bit easier. So being able to get a bit more space is actually going to help you out a lot especially too when in a lot of these situations i'm matched up against locks you can see right there too he plays it right he gets a contest that can be a bad thing about the animation but even so i'm still able to hit it through the contest because i have badges like post fade phenom i got badges like goals dead eye right here i end up doing a very stupid layup and that's not going to be the only stupid thing i do in this video i'm going to do another one of those i mean i'm hitting every single shot i'm hitting every single post hop shot so the obvious thing to do would be to take a contested layup but, you know sometimes you cannot justify your actions when it comes to 2k i I mean, once again, horrible take. In no situation is that the right shot right there, unless he gets broken off the post spin animation. But obviously, I could see that he did not. But the perks of playing on a lockdown, I mean, having post scoring at your arsenal, along with things like Hall of Fame Challenger, Gold Glove, Gold Right Stick Ripper, it's so tough to defend. I mean, you can see he tries to get there late, but that says wide open once again i know he's going to be playing the post op so i'm finally able to do what i was trying to do and get an open layup not a contested layup and i'm able to finish him off right there and as you guys saw man he was a pretty good player for this next game play you guys probably saw the short i gotta let you hear this whole live calm though this man was absolutely amazed or annoyed that he got matched up with me how good i was shooting i'm gonna let you guys hear it right here oh my god No, 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 he not he finna baby me. Come on, cur. God damn! Let me slow, let me step up, let me step up. Yo. Come on, nigga, ain't no way he's bringing it back to back. My green machine don't even hit like that, nigga. I know that badge ain't hitting like that, dog. That shit ain't hitting like that, nigga. That green bat, bro. That green machine ain't hitting like that, bro. That shit don't make no sense. That shit ain't hitting, bro. Bro. What the fuck, nigga? Son, he don't miss. This nigga green every single shot. I swear to God, bro. I'm done, bro. 2K, y'all give me these cheap ass niggas, bro, man. What the fuck, dog? This nigga ain't miss. This nigga don't miss. This nigga don't miss. Son, I know you got a mic, son. Let me get your jumper, son. That shit wet. Son, let me get your jump, man. Son, you didn't beat my ass. Let me get your shit, son. Cut your mic on, son. I know you got a mic, son. Come on, son. You gonna beat my ass that bad and do me like that? And then I got one more gameplay for you guys to end the video. Not that anything I was doing in that last game was very impressive. He was probably just amazed because it is tough to shoot on this game for the casual player. A lot of people like to pretend it's not. And it's not, you know, super hard for me, but I play the game all the time. Most people are not going to play 2K24 all the time. They're not going to learn the cues to master the jump shots. So if you're somebody that shoots good on the game... 
you know, don't think that it's no big deal. It is a big deal. You are a good shooter. Do not let people undersell the fact that, you know, everyone's doing it. Everybody is most definitely not doing it. And that is another good thing about this Austin Rivers post top shot. With the Kobe Bryant one, you're going to get those blinder shots. Sometimes it's going to be a speed up. Sometimes it's going to change based on the contest. If you're just making space to get a wide open post top shot every single time, you're not going to worry too much about the difference in shot timing because it's going to be exactly the same every single time. Let me know if you guys want me to make any more videos about other post top shots. I'll probably make one about the Dirk post top shot as well. I'm a big fan of it. I just like to give you guys early in the year the best animations. I feel like I've done that. So now we are at the point in the year where I'm showing you guys more unique animations that you don't see a lot of players use. You can see I got the sharp shooting takeover now. I can go between posting him up to running around like a shot creator. Even though I have no ball handle on this lock bill, there are a lot of options I can go to to score. And I got broken defense if I end up missing a shot. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you do want to drop a like and subscribe, of course I do. I appreciate it. It's Man. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.